Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of counting money. We are looking at standard 3.4c in the great state of Texas and this is problem number 4 of the 2017 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, see if you can solve this problem on your own, and then unpause it. Let's check our answers together. So we have a collection of bills and coins here. We have Inez, she is doing laundry. And we've got just one total right there, $6.47 in the pocket of her dad's pants. Which of the following could not represent the amount of money that Inez found? So three of these are going to equal $6.47. One of them will not, that's the one we're looking for. And they do have a 5 and a 1, but just go ahead and knock all of these out. All of these, F, G, H, and J, they all have $6 in bills, a 5 and a 1. So really, it's even though in third grade you count bills and coins, it's still really counting coins. That can sometimes be the tricky part. Now, the nice thing about this is they've organized all of the coins by value. And they're not all mixed up in some big pile. So let's just start with F here. And as you can tell, I had to kind of cut and splice this problem. It was so big, I had to cut it in half so I can see it on the screen here. But we've got these dimes. Each of these dimes are worth 10 cents. We've got a nickel here that's worth five. And then we've got two pennies. So we're going to practice skip counting by tens and then five and then add ones. So let's do our 10s, 10, 20, 30, 40. So I'm just going to kind of write that 40 up there and just put a box around it. 45, adding that 5, 46, 47. So it looks like I've got $6.47. So F looks good. Now, remember, we are looking for the one that does not equal $6.47. So students got this question wrong on the star test in 2017. They probably chose F because they didn't see this word not, and they just found the first amount that equaled $6.47. But we know we're looking for the one that does not equal $0.47. Cents. So I've got two dimes. Looks like I've got five nickels here, and then I've got two pennies. So we'll count the same way. We've got $6.10.20. I'll just put a box to kind of keep it separate. 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. And then we've got 46 and 47. So that looks good here. So 647 looks good for F and G. You notice they both have two pennies. Now here's the difference. You see how F has four dimes? What G did is they took two of these dimes and they split these dimes into two sets of nickels because two nickels make a dime. So instead of having four dimes and just one nickel, this has two dimes and five nickels because each of these dimes split into two nickels. Let's see what we have for H. Oh, we've got a quarter here. That's 25 cents. And we've got two nickels and two pennies. So that's easy. So we're just going to put 25, 30, 35. 36, 37. Ah, this is the one I believe is going to be our answer. It's short. It should be 647, not 637. It would work if you would change these into dimes. If you would put these as dimes, it would work, but not as nickels. Let's just double check under J. So it's another quarter. And so we've got two dimes and two pennies. So that's 25, 35, 45. 46, 47. Yes, so J is going to work, and H is going to be our answer, because that is one that does not equal $6.47. You see this quarter right here. Well, this quarter is equal to these five nickels, so that's how they kind of changed out the quarter with the five nickels. Everything else is the same between G and J. Or we've got a quarter here is equal to two dimes and a nickel. And then everything else is the same for F and J.